Hi everyone, we are back with a tutorial for CBA 2 assignment 1. So your goal for this assignment is to come up with ideas to improve your space game, okay? So you can think of it as ideas to give updates to your game. So now let's uh, go to my website and go to year 4. Okay, so how does the space game look like? Okay, just to give you a heads up, assignment 1 and assignment 2 are related. Okay, so how the game will look like, just go to game demo. And then we'll press the green flag. So how do we play the game? We press start. And then we move the mouse to avoid the asteroids. So what happens if you hit one of the asteroids? It's game over, right? Okay, this game is basically an endless mode, meaning it doesn't have an ending. Okay, it will end when it's game over. That's about it. Okay, now let's go to year four. Now, your first assignment is actually to create a brainstorm board. Okay, here is a template where you need to do. You need to write it out, all the ideas, okay? I've already given a printed sheet for you in school, so please don't lose it. If you lose it, you print it out again and submit to me by 21st of June, okay? Now, here is an example of the brainstorm board that I did, okay, for a different game. First and foremost, okay, first thing you need to do is come up with a name for your game, okay? Even though it's a space game, you need to come up with a name. So everyone of you will have a different name for your game. So make sure you keep it to the theme of the of the game, which is a space game. Now, for frame one, let's look at frame one. Frame one is vomit out ideas. Okay, why do we call it vomit out ideas? Okay, so basically you have any idea in your head, you put it out first. Remember, your first choice is not normally not your best choice. Okay, you need to think it through first. So what you do, you list out all the ideas from your head and then put it in frame one. You can either write it in dot points or you can put sticky notes or you can draw squares or clouds to represent your ideas. Okay, so here is an example of a brainstorm board for a package delivery game. Okay, so some of the ideas you can pick and use it for your space game. Now, a few of the ideas that I can show you right here is adding three lives to your sprites. So let's say for your rocket, let's say it accidentally hit one of the asteroids. It will have at least two chances left before it is game over. Okay, that is one idea. There's another one which is you can add background music. Okay, you can change the text color of game over. You can add a clicking sound. You can add a score to the game. You can add timer. These are all ideas you can think for the game. Okay, but remember, okay, yet a few days ago, I saw some of you. Okay, one of your ideas is adding levels. Then your second idea is each level is going to get harder. Okay, now let me explain to you why the second idea is not accepted. First of all, when you create levels, you don't expect it to get easier and easier each level. It's, go it's obviously going to get harder and harder. All right, so that is equivalent to one idea only. And then, when some of you write, you want to put boosters to the game or uh, upgrades to the rocket. What kind of upgrades are you trying to 
imply right here? What are you trying to tell me? Is the rocket going to be immune to the asteroids? Or is the uh, rocket going to gain an ability to destroy all the asteroids? You need to explain this to me, okay? Those are specific ideas. When you say booster, it could be anything. Now, another thing is some of the ideas are differentiated or specified to two kinds of enhancement. Okay, remember these ideas, you are going to put it in assignment two for your game. You're going to code it out. So make sure these ideas, you are able to create it in your assignment two. Okay, so what, okay, these ideas are divided into two types of enhancement. One is the basic enhancement and the other is the medium enhancement. Medium enhancement is what can uh, improve the game for the user experience. What do you talk about user experience? It makes the game better for the user. Okay, so for example, last time I give you an example of a game called Flappy Bird, okay? That game was deleted from the Apple Store and Google Store. Why? Because a lot of people rage quit on the game. Okay, how do you make the user experience better? Maybe you can add lives to the bird. So every time, okay, it has three chances. Whenever it collides with the pillar, at least it has another two more chances before crossing the game, okay? So it makes the game more playable for the user. That is what you call a medium enhancement. It makes the game better so that the user can play longer or it's playable for the user, okay? You don't want the user to actually rage quit in the game, okay? Now, the other enhancement is basic enhancement. That means changes made to the game so that that is based on your preference, okay? Meaning it's something you like. So the changes that you make for basic enhancement, like adding a background music, I ask you, what is it for? You say you're using it for fun only. I was like, okay, acceptable, okay? You want to change the text color. That one is also considered basic enhancement, okay? Now, when you add background music, you add a mute button to your music, this will become a medium enhancement because some people don't like uh, having music in the background while they're playing games, okay? So this is a medium enhancement even though it's related to this basic enhancement, all right? Okay, so in your vomit out ideas frame, you must at least have 10 ideas, okay? Now, for frame two, all the ideas that you have written in frame one, you have to sort it out. Which one will go into sprites? Which one will go into backdrop? Okay? So let's say for background music, obviously you can put it in backdrop. If you put it in sprite, let's say something happened to the sprite, then the music won't be playing in the background, okay? Now, ad adding lives to the sprite, if you put it in backdrop, the backdrop doesn't have a sensing uh, functionality. It doesn't move. So the what if it minus the life, it's not going to happen anything. That's, therefore, you need to put it in sprites, okay? So please arrange your ideas from frame one accordingly okay and once you arrange it okay copy it back in frame three exactly the same but you're going to assign which one is more important okay priorities are what is important okay meaning you want to focus on those few ideas only remember like i said just now not all ideas are that good okay that's why you are sorting it out and only choosing the ones that you feel that it's important or you want to focus on that's why you put a star okay you feel like you know how to do this one then put a star okay if you know how to do this one 
put a star right here as well. Okay, so your board will most likely have two to four stars. Okay, why? Okay, because in assignment two, the requirement is you need to at least have two medium enhancement or four basic enhancement or one medium and two basic enhancement. Okay, in order to fulfill the requirements in assignment two. Okay, so that is all for assignment one.